let's do this and uh, just focus your heart on the Thanksgiving thing, okay? First Chronicles 16, 34. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love in... Colossians 4, 2. Devote yourself to prayer, being thankful and watchful. 1 Corinthians 1, 4. I always thank my God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians 9, 11. You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And, th though, and through us, your generosity will, will result in thanksgiving to God. 1 Timothy 4, 4-5 For everything God created is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving, because it is consecrated by the word of God. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 and to 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, through prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God with transcends all understanding will guard your heart and your minds in G Christ Jesus. Noah 2, 9. But I, with shouts of grateful praise, will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed, I will make good. I will say salvation comes from the Lord. Psalms 28, 7. Psalms 50:14. Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and, a perfor and perform your vows to the Most High. Now for the next section, I will just read these and I want you to note the harvest idea, okay? Note the harvest idea uh, in them. Psalms 4, 7. You have put more joy in my heart than, than they have when their grain and wine abound. 1 Corinthians 9.10 Surely he says this for us, doesn't he? Yes, this, this was written for us because when farmers plow and thresh, they should be able to do so in the hope of sharing in the harvest. 2 Corinthians 9.10 Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. Galatians 6, 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Isaiah 9, 3. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as soldiers rejoice when dividing the plunder. Jeremiah 5.24, they, and it's speaking about the wicked, do not say to themselves, let us fear the Lord our God, who gives autumn and spring rains in season, who assures us of the regular weeks of harvest. Psalm 67.6, the, the earth has yielded its produce. God, our God, blesses us. Revelation 14.15, then another angel came out of the temple and called in a loud voice to him who was sitting on the, on the cloud, take your sickle and reap because the time to reap has come for the harvest of the earth is ripe. Yes, we see we are the ones who work for our provision, yet we understand it truly is the Lord who provides and keeps and multiplies the harvest, amen? We understand that this is true both materially and spiritually. As we, as we depend on and trust in Him, we are to be at work 
but he is the one who provides blessing and grows the harvest. And because of this, we should live in praise and thanksgiving to him. Colossians 3, 16. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thanksgiving in your hearts to God. Hebrews 12, 28 to 29. First Chronicles 16, 23 to 26. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds amongst all the peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. 1 Chronicles 29, 13. Hebrews 13, 15. Through him, then let us um, continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to our God, that is, the fruit of the lips that acknowledged his name. Psalms 28, 7. Psalm 56, 4. In God whose word I praise, in God I trust and I'm not afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Psalm 69, 30. I will praise the name of God with a song. I will magnify him with thanksgiving. Psalms 89, 1 and 2. Psalms 95, 1 to 3. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful no noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. Psalms 92, 1 to 3. It is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name, O Most High, proclaiming your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night to the music of the ten-stringed lyre and the melody of the harp. Psalms 104. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Philippians 4, 4 and 5. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. And Philippians 4, 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Let us keep our minds and hearts stayed on the beauty of our God, the blessing of his hands. May we live day by day in thanksgiving to our God through hardship or blessing, for he is worthy of our praise.